Hi guys and welcome to the homeschool family. I'm Ilona and I'm the mom of two kids who are in kindergarten and fifth grade right now. And today we're going to talk about seven top picks of science curriculum. My top pick number one is mystery science. It's a video-based curriculum that is designed for grades K through fifth. Cost for mystery science is $89 for a whole year, depending on when you sign up. If you sign up right now, you get a little bit over a year because it includes till June next year. $89 might seem like a lot, and I usually didn't pay that. I always found a way to get it for half that cost. And if you're interested more in how I did it, then subscribe to my channel because I will be making a video of how to save money on some homeschool curriculums. So back to mystery science. Mystery science is great. My kids loved it. We didn't use it this year, but it's not because we didn't like it. We didn't use it because we found another curriculum that was free to us. So why wouldn't we give it a try? However, in mystery science, they have some long lessons that include a hands-on project. And my kids just love those hands-on projects. They always were very easy to do. I never had to prepare it ahead of time. It was always using some items that everybody has around the house. And there were always some printable worksheets that it's not really a worksheet, but usually there's a page or two that you have to print out and you use that to make that project. So it was very easy to prepare. And what my kids loved about it is that the hands-on project was kind of built into the lesson where you watch a part of the video, then it says pause and go gather those materials then you unpause and it tells you okay step one now do this now pause and the video automatically pauses for you so kids exactly knew what to do and when and i really liked that because they were more independent i didn't have to tell them like okay now you have to pause and now you have to do this i didn't have to do that because it was built into the lesson but mystery science also has short lessons there were about five minutes and they have so many of them. They answer so many questions that kids might ask that anytime we have some kind of science question, we almost always find an answer to that question on mystery science. So we are definitely fans of mystery science, even though we are not currently using it, I might go back to using it next year. Next up, curriculum number two is Generation Genius. Gener Generation Genius is another video-based curriculum. That's the one we've been using this year. We switched from Mystery Science to Generation Genius only because through our charter school we could use it for free. However, the price for Mystery Science and Generation Genius is very comparable. As of right now, the cheapest cost I, I could find for Generation Genius is $225 a year for a classroom use. I know they used to have a $99 one for home use. However, I looked all over their website and I can't find it anymore. So I don't know if they got rid of it just recently or maybe I just can't find it. If, if you know something about it, please write it down in the comments because I'm very curious what happened to that home version of Generation Genius. Maybe they really did just get rid of it and now you have to pay double that to use the classroom. If that would be the case, that would be too bad because that makes the cost of Generation Genius more than double. So now it's not comparable to Mystery Science. At that point, I would definitely go with Mystery Science unless you have older kids in middle school because Mystery Science only goes up to fifth grade versus Generation Genius goes from kindergarten to eighth grade. So it covers a little bit more grades. However, 
Can you use it as a full curriculum for all those years? I don't think so. It's possible to switch back and forth from one curriculum to another. You might be able to use it for a full year. However, there's not enough videos in Generation Genius for it to be your full curriculum every year. So we used Mystery Science last year. This year we used Generation Genius. It was enough for this year, but we pretty much already watched all of the videos in that grade bracket because the videos are combined kindergarten to second grade. Then third through fifth, I think. And then sixth through eighth. So my fifth grader already watched all of the third through fifth grade videos and he already started watching the six through eight. So, so I really don't think there's enough videos for him to use Generation Genius another year. Another thing I didn't like as much about Generation Genius was the hands-on projects. There are hands-on projects included in each video and there's some explanation on how to do it underneath. However, I didn't feel they were that engaging. My kids just didn't feel like doing it, even though they loved the hands-on projects in Mystery Science. In Generation Genius, most of the time, they didn't feel like doing it, or they've already done it in the past and it wasn't interesting. And I think it, the problem was that in Generation Genius, whilst they were watching the video, it right away shows you what the project is and then right away, right after that, it shows you what the result of it is. So once they saw what's going to happen, they just didn't feel like doing it anymore. Versus in Mystery Science, because the video automatically pauses and it tells you to do it, you don't really know what the result is until you click next. So I think that could be the difference why they usually always did the hands-on projects in Mystery Science, but they barely ever did it in Generation Genius. So after all, I feel like the videos are very well done in Generation Genius. They're engaging, interesting, but I feel like the part to make it the full curriculum is missing. My science pick number three is another video-based curriculum. I think you see a pattern here. My kids really like video-based curriculums, so we use them a lot. So the next one is Science Mom. Science Mom records video lessons on many different subjects. Currently, she has available chemistry, earth science, which one, it's, this one is free, so you definitely should check that one out. Biology 1, which is microbiology. Biology 2, which is genetics. And they also have physics 1. And they just start working on physics 2. Science Mom videos are pretty long. They're not like Mystery Science on Generation Genius, where the videos are about 5 to 10 minutes. These are 40, 45 minutes long. And a lot of it... Yeah, it's fluff. You know, there's some parts that could be totally cut out, like shutouts and just just a lot of talking that's not necessarily educational. However, my son likes it. He he did chemistry course, which used to be free. It's not free anymore, I think. So he started on chemistry and did it more than halfway through, and then he paused it, he never finished that course. Then we came back to it a few months later, but he already didn't remember all of it, so he wanted to start over, so we did. And then he didn't finish it again, and then I think just recently he started a third time over. But that does not mean he doesn't like it. He does have ADHD and often his interests change and if he's just not into chemistry anymore, if all of a sudden now he's into space, I just let him work on space and we can come back to chemistry some other time. So I think that's more of a reason why he never finished that course. Because the fact that he always wants to come back to it and he does want to start over, 
shows to me that he must like it. Science Mom courses always come with printable worksheets, which are very nicely done. They have little cartoons built into them. They're very fun and engaging and, and funny in some parts. So overall, I really like Science Mom. Fries, on the other hand, is a little bit more expensive than the other programs because it costs between $100 to $200 per each course. So it's definitely more on the higher end. Okay, let's move on to the next pick. My pick number four is Biochemistry Literature for Kids. And yes, you heard it good. It's biochemistry. It sounds advanced, but... The whole program is another video-based program where they have video lessons where you use a kit that you can buy from their website. I guess you could use another model kit, but they say some of them don't work as good as the kit that they're selling. And they make biochemistry, which is like a very high advanced subject, and they break it down so even the little kids in kindergarten can understand it. So this program is designed for ages kindergarten to 12th grade. It's a great program to use if you have multiple kids and if you wanna do chemistry together because they really do break it down easily. We technically didn't use the whole program. However, we did watch the first lesson, which is free on their website. You can watch the whole video for free. They use a computer-based modeling. So I think this program, from what I've seen and from the first lesson that we watched, is definitely wor worth checking out. My son was super excited to start using it. However, the reason why we didn't use it yet is because we decided to go with Science Mom first and do the chemistry course there just to have like a little more information about chemistry before we jump into biochemistry. You don't have to do it that way. You totally can learn biochemistry without having any knowledge about chemistry to begin with. My curriculum pick number five is Waldock's Way unit studies. And Waldock's Way has some unit studies for many different subjects, but they also have some science. And for science, they have a survival, moon, space, human body, mini beasts, and ocean available right now. Cost for each one of those units is between $24 to $28. However, I would wait until they have a sale because they do run about 30% off sale multiple times in a year. So if you're not in a hurry to buy it, I would wait until you see it to be on sale. Each one of those units usually includes supplemental book lists, YouTube playlists, Pinterest board, they have hands-on activities, and they have really nice illustrations, and they always include some games. We use some of their units. I really like how they're designed. They include the videos, which my kids really like, and they also have a little bit of writing, so it's usually like a perfect balance. I really like those units. On to our science pick number seven. And for this one, I picked fun schooling journals. If you're not familiar with fun schooling journals, they have a whole bunch of different, different journals for many different subjects and many different interests. There probably is well over 100 journals that they have available. And that also includes many science journals. The way how those journals work is I would not call it a full curriculum the way it is. What you have to do is you have to go to the library or you have to buy some other books and you use those other materials to get it with your journal. So journal have some prompts. For example, if it's a space journal, it might say, go to your books and study about the moon and write something what you've learned. And that's how all of those journals are designed. So there is not much information in those journals. It mostly just gives you some prompts and you have to find the information somewhere there. Some prompts are to go watch a video documentary. Some are read a book. 
There's some vocabulary built into it. There's many different subjects combined in those journals. However, the science journal are mostly based on science and you pick the journal that your kids are interested in. So that's what's nice about it. They have so many different journals that you have a good chance of finding the one about what your child is interested in. So some of the journals that they have available are seven subjects science portfolio for Minecraft. So that's a really good journal for a little bit older kid, like higher elementary, middle school, I would say, if they're interested in Minecraft. They have rocks and minerals journal, seaside science, science handbook and portfolio, nature studies and outdoor study journal, all about space journal, mission to Mars, sharks, horses, reptiles and amphibians, zoo field trip journal, endangered animals, bugs, dolphins, birds, flowers, trees, survival guide, dogs, cats, garden. There really is something for almost anyone. And we're down to our very last pick, which is science curriculum pick number seven. And that is Real Science Odyssey. Real Science Odyssey is a book-based program, which for us, it doesn't always work. It's a great program. I heard great things about it. I even tried to use it. We bought the Astronomy Level 2 book for my son, and he was excited to use it. However, because it's a book-based, it just didn't work for us. There's too much reading, too much writing. So we just picked some parts out of it and we didn't use it the way it was designed for sure. We did some projects that were included in that book, but for the most part, we didn't really use it. I'm keeping that book. I might try again later when he's a little bit older, maybe he'll be more open to book-based curriculums. As of right now, it didn't work for us, but that does not mean it's a bad curriculum. I really like it. I like how it looks. I like how it's designed. It just didn't work. It might work for a different child. It might work for my younger daughter. She's just not old enough for it yet. As of right now, we're putting it away, but I am not getting rid of it. And I thought that would be a good idea to include at least one book-based curriculum for other kids that might like book curriculums. We just prefer video-based curriculums, and that's what works best for us. That does not mean it's going to work best for you. So I wanted to include this curriculum just so you have more options. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the other videos. We're also going to be making another video about social studies curriculum picks. And go to my channel and check out the math and language art curriculum picks. That's it for today. Bye!